uh, welcome to 17th lecture okay and uh, we uh, were discussing about uh, the electrical degree and mechanical degree and what is the difference the whole idea is this that if it is a two pole machine your b distribution if it is sinusoidal the fundamental component of that b distribution only we will consider we will see that how this can be made uh, more perfect a sinusoidal b distribution but assuming that b distribution is this a conductor if it is moving underneath this b distribution then the induced voltage across it will be just same as the this b distribution and this is the space angle mind you this theta is space angle and uh, this is your uh, omega t what is omega omega is the speed of this rotor in radian per second where from we started speed of the rotor is n rps which i can measure with a tachometer so that is the mechanical speed anyway whatever it is but uh, to calculate the induced voltage i required the v not omega and v i must therefore expressed in terms of uh, diameter of the rotor if it is d v is equal to pi d n but mind you n is in rps it may be expressed in rpm but okay rps and uh, the angular speed is in radian per second which is 2 pi n radian per second. Then I told that if the conductor suppose the starting point is here and it is moving in this direction. So, in this axis omega t is the position of the rotor suppose uh, here it was omega t equal to 0. So, okay, at any time t it comes this is at any time t this is the position of the conductor at any time t. So, this is omega t this this time at that time what will be the voltage B L V at this time B L V and when it uh, cross pi by 2 it has reached maximum voltage once again 0 voltage conductor comes here because there is no B and then it reverses its polarity and a complete cycle of E M F will be obtained when the conductor returns back here and there is no distinction really between electrical and mechanical angle when the number of poles of the machine is 2. Now, let us see what happens if uh, it is a 4 pole machine suppose I will first draw the rotor huh? otherwise I am sketching the rotor so badly. So, this is the thing suppose uh, this is south pole we know how to create a four pole structure by not using projected poles only by passing some current through the coils housed in stator ok those I am not repeating. So, suppose uh, effectively it comes to this some south north south north please go through the earlier lectures where I have indicated how if a rotor or stator irons can be magnetized uh, such that four poles will be created using two coils you recall that. But anyway just for understanding this I will do like that. Therefore, one quarter of this will be under the influence of north pole next quarter will be under the influence of the south pole and next quarter will be under the influence of north pole and this is once again under the influence of north pole. And these lines uh, are the neutral position where from north to south transition is taking place here the flux density will be 0 fundamental component of flux density. Now, you, you see if the conduct first let us not draw anything, but let us argue like this you have a conductor which is moving with a speed n rps and that n rps is mechanical thing we know only mechanical uh, mechanical speed we are used to I can use the tachometer tachometer records the mechanical speed in real terms so much rotations 
so many rotations per second and so on. And suppose the conductor is moving with n rps, n is in mechanical, mechanical speed. Of course, uh, one may question we have not yet come to know what is electrical about it. So, what is the point of telling mechanical or electrical? Let us try to understand now that is why I will not do first any maths. Let us see this conductor is moving with some rps mechanical rps. Now, when this conductor in this position and it is moving in the clockwise direction voltage is 0 then it will have peak value when it comes under the center of the south pole because I have assumed the distribution to be sinusoidal in nature. Suppose, I am measuring theta is equal to 0 here. So, so your B distribution will be this one. Now, uh, it will become maximum here then when it when the conductor comes here voltage will be 0 indicating this point it will be maximum when it comes here, but uh, in the opposite sense because it is now under north pole same conductor once again 0 here. Then once again it will have maximum here. 0 here maximum here. So, this is the thing so this is B distribution. Now, you see when the conductor moves a pair of poles that is it starts from here reaches maximum reaches 0 in one polarity of the voltage, then it reaches maximum and reaches 0 in the negative cycle. That is the conductor has crossed only a mechanical angle of 180 degree and a complete cycle of EMF is available that is the thing. In earlier case when the conductor has moved by 360 degree mechanical your EMF has also produced one cycle of EMF, but here you can see when the conductor moves 360 degree mechanical when the conductor has moved 360 degree mechanical two cycles of EMF will be consumed that is what I want to tell if I sketch this as theta mechanical B distribution then what should I write theta equal to 0 here, here how much should I write B was 0 here you have moved only 45 degree this is pi by 4 under this heading is not this is pi by 2 you have only moved by uh, 90 degree mechanical degree and got pi by 2 not pi if this axis you indicate by theta theta mechanical angle the angle the way we understand geometry. If you go on measuring like this what I am telling when uh, this will be 2 pi here you have got so pi by 4 so pi by 2 plus another pi by 4 and this will be like that I can indicate. The question is so, so, but your conductor does not know all these things it only knows whatever B is there above it that will be the voltage. So, so conductor will also generate voltage like this. So, this is uh, voltage V L V voltage do not write V L V now. So, this is the voltage of a single conductor and uh, this angle is theta electrical. 
Therefore, we can easily see the theta electrical will be P by 2 theta mechanical. So, uh, time has come to distinguish between these two angles when it is a multipolar machine. If P equal to 2 theta electrical is equal to theta mechanical and theta electrical as I told you I will indicate simply by theta. Okay. So, theta theta electrical is P by 2 theta mechanical that is over 360 degree mechanical angle you have now brought in another two poles squeezed same mechanical angle 360 degree in terms of mechanical angle. Suppose, this is 360 degree mechanical what essentially I have done is I have divided this 360 degree mechanical in four zones one two three eight equal zones I am so sorry. So, one becomes north pole south north south like that. So, I have brought in another two poles south north in two, two pole it was not like that only 360 degree mechanical 180 was consumed by south pole another 180 degree was used by north pole, but here 360 degree 90 degree mechanical angle was uh, under the influence of south pole next 90 degree under the influence of north pole then another south pole another north pole that is over the same 360 degree mechanical I have now squeezed a pair of poles north south south north south north and therefore, any conductor moving he do, does, does not mind whatever you have done done, but conductor moving he will only see oh the I was now under south pole sinusoidal. So, my voltage I will make this one then in this up it will be like this then in this up it will be like this and in this up it will be like this. So, as the conductor moves by 360 degree mechanical the electrical angle uh, moved electrical voltage that you will get it has made two cycles that is 720 degree. So, this angle is 7 2 into 360 degree electrical. understood. So, this is very important electrical angle is equal to P by 2 theta mechanical and one should not forget if it is a 6 pole machine it will be 3 times the mechanical 3 cycles of EMF will be generated when the conductor moves mechanical angle of 360 degree round. So, this is a very important thing therefore, it looks like that it is necessary to distinguish between electrical and mechanical angle space angle. So, what we will do is this suppose uh, I will say that this is a four pole four pole machine 1 2 3 4 this is 360 degree mechanical no doubt but in electrical angle if theta is in electrical that is how i should describe this sine wave so that it will fit in I, I will write it as B max sin theta and this theta as I told without any suffix means electrical angle. So, B max sin theta and there I will indicate like this 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi this is pi by 2 and so on this is 3 pi by 2 
is that clear? So, whenever you show the bit distribution because you do not know whether it is a 4 pole machine or 2 pole machine. So, it is better this, this will be giving you a true picture and you will say B distribution in terms of electrical degree I know. So, if it is a 4 pole machine you know this is 720 degree. If it is a 6 pole machine it will be 3 into 360 degree mechanical. So, I can always switch over if I like uh, that is okay. coil you are telling uh, uh, in this that, that therefore, if uh, theta is uh, you have understood the point I hope and it is essential to understand. Now, if you differentiate this uh, with respect to time you will get uh, angular velocity d theta d t to be equal to p by 2 d theta mechanical by d t or I will say that electrical speed speed in electrical radian per second will be equal to p by 2 speed in mechanical radian per second or in other words what I am telling this omega theta is in electrical without any suffix will be equal to p by 2 omega mechanical. this is just comes from this. So, electrical speed is always greater than mechanical speed of the machine. Okay. Therefore, while placing the a coil in the slots like this as I told you you place one conductor. So, this is 360 degree mechanical 360 degree mechanical here is a slot here is a number of slots are there. Now, if it is at this point you try to understand if it is a two pole machine then half of the slots will be under north pole and the remaining half will be under south pole. So, if you have placed one conductor in this slot its return conductor if it is under the center of the north pole its return conductor should be placed under the center of the south pole. So, that the maximum voltage will be induced, but if it is a 4 pole machine if you place one conductor in this slot which is under north pole where the return conductor should be placed return conductor must be placed at 90 degree mechanical degree apart. Why? Because that will then indicate electrical angle 180 degree and you are ensured it will be under south pole next opposite pole. Therefore, uh, this is the thing that if you place a conductor you, you let it, it be a 4 pole machine. So, if it is a 4 pole machine this is 360 degree mechanical, but electrically uh, 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 360 degree mechanical which means 720 degree electrical one and the same thing. Now, if you place a conductor here if you want to place coil you want to make a coil place if you must ensure that if this coil is placed comes under the plus b max its return must be under minus b max that is how this separation should be. Now, what should be this separation angle for maximum voltage in terms of electrical degree it should be 180 degree electrical.
but in terms of mechanical degree this angle is only how much 45 degree for not 45 90 degree half of this. So, this is 90 degree mechanical got the point therefore, uh, over uh, in a rotating machine uh, like this 360 degree mechanical is fixed. Now, depending upon whether it is a 2 pole machine or 4 pole machine or 6 pole machine you know over this 360 degree all the poles are to be accommodated. If it is a 2 pole machine 180 degree mechanical will be under north pole 180 degree mechanical will be under south pole. If it is a 4 pole machine only uh, first 90 degree will be under north pole next 90 degree under south pole next 90 under north pole next will be another 90 degree. Now, in such an environment if a conductor is allowed to move with certain speed v meter per second then as it completes one rotation he will cross successively south pole north pole south pole north pole before it comes back to its original position. Therefore, two cycles of EMF will be produced which is equal to 720 degree when we sketch a voltage wave form. Therefore, a conductor moves by 360 degree mechanical essentially means that you have moved the conductor electrically by 720 degree and two cycles of EMF will be produced. If it is a 6 pole machine then 1 sixth that is 360 degree by 6 is 60 degree 60 degree mechanical first 60 degree mechanical say under south pole next 60 will be under north pole next 60 will be under south pole north pole south pole. So, there will be 3 pair of poles p by 2 will be 3 therefore, 3 cycles of EMF will be produced as the conductor makes a one complete mechanical revolution. What is mechanical degree? The mechanical degree we understand in geometry that is the mechanical degree you can measure with a protector things like that. But when it comes to the generation of AC EMF we immediately understand that the cycle of number of cycles of EMF which will be produced as the conductor moves around the periphery of the rotor surface uh, several cycles of EMF may be produced. One cycle of EMF generally 360 degree so 360 degree electrical therefore, if it is a two pole machine no question of distinguishing between electrical and mechanical degree but, but if it is multipolar machine I must remember that so as to correct. Um, uh, correct so that I can write down correctly the expression. So, when I write B is equal to B max sin theta this theta is in electrical. So, I will sketch it in electrical like this and conductor will move with a velocity V. Now, what I am going to do is I am going to find out most important step that after understanding the distinction between these two I will try to calculate the expression mathematically. Now, I am doing a little bit of mathematics to find out the expression of the RMS voltage induced across a coil that is what I will try to do. So, so, the problem definition is let it be a p polar machine let the number of poles of the machine be p okay. and let 
let me write more formally d is equal to diameter of the rotor diameter of the rotor okay and let small m be the mechanical speed mechanical speed of the conductor in meter per second so this is mechanical speed how much meters it goes oh no no uh, mechanical speed of the conductor I am sorry in in RPS how many rotations it makes which I can measure mechanical speed. So, n mechanical and I will indicate theta to be the electrical angle. and theta mechanical if necessary this may not be necessary is p by 2 into theta angle ok. And uh, the problem is like this B distribution is given and I will write it as B max sin theta. If I have chosen to measure theta from 0 crossing and going towards positive, this is entirely my business. So, I have considered this to be theta equal to 0 and this theta as I told you it is theta electrical without any suffix. So, this is pi, this is 2 pi and this is theta and y axis is b is equal to in electrical angle this is the thing. And now, I will tell that a conductor single conductor is moving with a speed v mechanical is equal to so much meter per second. Okay. But in a single conductor I know what to do, but I want to use a coil. So, coil I told if this is one coil side I must make sure the other coil side will be 180 degree electrical apart. Then, so the coil span is 180 degree electrical apart, it has to be always. So, that, that is very convenient to say no matter whether 6 pole, 4 pole, 8 poles, coil span different in their positions in space must be always 180 degree electrical. Why? Because then only the induced voltage. So, if this coil side is under the center of north pole at any time, this fellow must be under the center of south pole. So, that you will get maximum voltage between these two point as 2 B L V <coughs> voltage across the coil. Okay, we will continue with this five minutes. So, we will continue with this in the next class. <coughs>